opened my garage door today and it felt like baseball season. I don't know if y'all had that same effect, but uh, excited for baseball. Um, I, I guess opening statement wise, um, we're, we're ready to play. Uh, we've played Hoosiers for nine months, so we're ready to play somebody else. We have a great opponent coming up in Middle Tennessee State. Um, Conference USA team, and it'll be a great, great matchup on the weekend. Um, be a situation where uh, you know two, two pretty good programs. Um, our ball club, it's a, it's a lot of new faces. We lost uh, nine from last year, five in the pro ball, um, four really good seniors also that that are that are out working. But we have a, a good group back. Um, feel like we're a very talented, older, experienced pitching staff. I'm hoping uh, defensively, I think we have a very talented defensive group, and I call it a, an evolving, maturing offense uh, day to day where we're working in that area. So I think we have a chance to be pretty good offensively, um, but we're still trying to get there. Um, most of our, our work probably is, is evolving into what type of team we're going to become. Uh, I think a lot of leadership. Um, we've lost, a, you know, in the last two years. Boy, some of the leaders that we've lost in this program have been huge. Um, and so I think that's one of the big areas we're fighting right now and trying to work in is finding some leadership in our ball club. Um, we have some great leadership, but leadership from top to bottom and uh, how we do things. Questions? Question? You know how the, uh, I guess the pitching rotations pitch catch up, especially yeah, pitching rotation. Uh, Kyle Hart will pitch on Friday night. Evan Bell will pitch on Saturdays. And Caleb Berger on Sundays. For our next couple weeks are just three day uh, series. Yeah. Last year it seemed like the uh, the identity of the offense was kind of small ball oriented. Is that do you expect that to be the same this year? I, I, I'd call it more blended. I mean, we want to be able to play some small ball. I just think you have to in college baseball now. There's going to be time and place that you have to win the two one game. Um, we'd also like to win the ten to eight game too. So we have some. We have some real, some of the better power hitters in the league, I think, but we also, we have some runners and uh, we want to be able to win. The way we pitch and defend, we got to be able to win that Friday night, three to two ball game. You mentioned in the opening statement, but how much confidence is this having such a veteran staff available that you got a lot of options? How much confidence is this for you? It's a lot. I mean, the, the pitching staff and, and we all know um, baseball is about starting pitching and pitching all together. And um, we have great starting pitching. Um, Great bullpen depth experience. Uh, it just gives you a lot of confidence of, of sitting in there. And, and my, the hardest part is finding, you know, getting enough innings for everybody, especially early when we're only playing three games a week. This time next year, I'll be a little more nervous because it's. I think we lose like eight older pitchers that are pitching almost every week. So it's a it's a luxury that we're going to enjoy this year. It seemed like I guess. 2013, 2014, this team had a, you know, Aaron Slagers, a Joey Donato, who they could kind of rely on going into Friday nights, and that seemed to really set the tone for your weekend. Do you think Kyle can be that, you know, going into this year? No doubt, no doubt. I think Kyle's that Friday night type of starter. He proved it last year. We really took off again last year when he really got all the way back and healthy and ready to pitch, and I think that's what we're going to see this year, um, you know, with him. He's been really good um, in our scrimmages against our guys. What's the uh, status of Sully Sadler, and where do you think he could fit into the, the team this year? Sully's actually had a pretty good spring training. He's uh, healthy. He's uh, recovered from arm surgery, and um, he's thrown in three scrimmages at this point. So he's probably still um, he's healthy and ready to go. We're trying to get you know pitch counts up and things like that, but he's definitely in our mix, which is exciting. Is, is catcher a question mark for you right now, or how do you feel about that? Right we're just young. Yeah. That's the. I mean, it's it's a question mark. I'd say it's a big question mark with us. I think we're talented in that area. We're just young. We have a Ryan Feynman's a freshman catcher, very talented catcher. Uh, Demetrius Webb is a sophomore catcher who's caught some for us last year. So that's probably one of our areas of, I'd say, of concern. But I'm actually pretty confident. They're, they're both pretty good defensively. What are some of your uh, expectations for Alex Krupa, and where does he fit in the lineup? Alex is a uh, you know dynamic outfielder, good base runner. Um, you know he is a uh, you know a left fielder probably for us right now, leadoff type of guy. Some of those freshmen who played a lot last year, um, how do you feel like they've kind of progressed in their first off season? That's the key to our team, probably. I, I keep challenging them. Our uh, that sophomore group of how they're they're growing and doing with a. Uh, Logan Sowers or uh, Laren Eustace or an Isaiah Pasture. I think some of those guys are 
be the difference if we're looking up at the end of the year and having a lot of success. <clears throat> a lot of our sophomores will really mature into, you know, that's usually in college baseball and a great program. Some of your, your best classes are your softball classes. Um, I'm excited to see them play. They've had a good fall and spring, so we're excited about them that way. Sam, you talked about Craig Deal, obviously had a good year last year, but I think at the end of the year you talked about the next steps forward for him. Has he taken some of those in your mind? Definitely. Getting bigger, stronger, um, has had a really good spring training. Um, you know, one of the premier players in our league, so I think that's the exciting part. He'll play center field and, and hit like he did last year. And, um, you know, just a very mature about how he handles everything. Any more questions? Coach, in the bullpen, from eighth, ninth inning to even middle relief, how do you replace guys like Luke Harrison, Ryan Halstead, or what do you see at that stage in the bullpen? Um, that's a, that's a, um, those are tough guys to replace. Luke Harrison, Scott Efros. Um, but, you know, I'll tell you, our, our depth is just we got a lot of depth in there. We're, we're going to pitch Jake Kelser at the back of the game. So last year he was one of our midweek starters. He'll pitch at the back side of the game. We still have Thomas Belcher back, who's – kind of the X factor. I mean, he could run out there and throw three innings. He could set up for an inning. He can, he just does so many things from the different arm slots. And then we have a bunch of different options. Um, our left-handed options, our right-handed options. Um, Will Corson Cars had a great spring training, a guy that we can look forward there. Uh, Austin Foot. I mean, we just had some guys out of our bullpen that we think we can match up, you know, very well. Well, I guess, what, what do you think he came here out of Corson Car? He obviously had the College World Series run, and then was kind of quiet the next couple of years. What do you think he can get out of it this year? Well, we've talked about he started great, he's going to end great. <laughs> so that's the that's the mentality. We all know he has great stuff. You know, uh, commanding the stuff sometimes has been an issue, but uh, you know that's kind of our motto. Is he's going to you know end like he started, you know, and, and kind of jump in there. He's had a really good. I mean, it's it's as good as stuff as anybody out there. Um, and he's he's thrown a lot of strikes here in spring training. Is uh, Ramos back? No, he's in school, but he is uh, not with the team right now. Not, so not with the team permanently. Yeah. Permanent. Okay. He's just working on his degree and everything. How, what happened there? Is that is that a? I'm I'm gonna go no comment. Okay. Is that all right? But what, he's what not of, with the team. Okay. What kind of hole does that create then um, on the left side of the infield? It's tough. I mean, he's a really good player, really good defender. Um, but um, you know, he's um, you know, we got Isaiah Pasture, Brian Wilhite, some of those guys. Tony Butler's a JUCO kid mm -hmm. who'll give us some depth. Who would you expect to see uh, replace Rodriguez over at second base this year? Right now, it's Tony Butler, a junior college kid we brought in, very talented, you know, player. Anything else? I guess just in the larger sense, you talked about coming in and ma maintaining a winning culture. This program's never been to three NCAA tournaments in a row. Do you see a different? approach in guys, young guys, old guys, just because it's maybe become a little bit more of a habit? You know, I think the biggest part with us is we're trying to, you know, and it is a part of a habit, and I think that's the, the pride of the program right now is to continue on that tradition. Um, we're in a spot where a lot of that responsibility is going to our younger kids because we have, you know, we have a lot of seniors, but then we have a, the bulk of our team is younger. And uh, as we transition into that group, you know, seeing that group take that responsibility is huge. And that's what we've you know, I'm excited to see us evolve as the season goes on because I think we can we can do some neat things in that area. We have some great leaders in the young kids. That sometimes the young ones are scared to lead, and just they got to be able to jump out there and play and, and and take pride in the program. I think is a big part. Anything else? All right. Thank you.